All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through the process uh, that we've been doing in class. So if you need refreshers or if you've been absent, then this is your resource. Um, this paper I have in front of me is the cream colored project paper, and I'm going to start by going over how we draw borders. So I have that and I've got my ruler and I'm going to go ahead and start measuring. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure around the border, but I'm gonna line up, I'm lining up this first mark on my ruler to the edge of the paper, and I'm gonna make three measurement marks all at the one inch. Then I'm gonna grab my ruler, I'm gonna line that ruler up to all three of those marks. I have a little trouble here because my ruler is a little crooked. Let's scoot it up. There we go. I'm gonna draw my line. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just start right here where I left off. So there's the one. And then scoot it up a little bit. And again. And last time. my ruler up along those lines again and draw my straight line over okay all right so then I'm gonna pick back up here one inch one inch and one inch line my ruler up and draw that straight line Last time. Okay, my one inch mark there, there, and there. Okay, there we go. All right. If you have boxes in your corners, go ahead and erase those out. Try to be careful about not crinkling your paper. You want that paper to look nice and neat. Okay. All right, so you're done for there, and so I'm gonna set that off to the side, okay? Then I'm gonna show you how you start like actual sketching. So here's my picture. You guys have that digitally on your Google Doc, and then I have my printer paper here. So my bug, our insect, is wider than it is long. So I have my printer paper uh, landscape style in front of me, and then I folded it in half, and now I'm going to sketch out my Luna Moth onto my printer paper. So I'm gonna kind of move my picture up here. I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching. Now what I have been finding out, because I've been telling everybody to Make sure that they use the space on their paper, um, most of it, and this kind of, this is the first time this has really backfired on me, but some of them got a little too large and they went outside of the border. So uh, I'm kind of giving myself a guideline here to make sure that I don't go past that. And then I also am going to kind of make some guidelines to make sure that I kind of end my moth in the right places. So I'm going to start here for the head, he about here for the bottom of the body, the antenna I'm going to have up here. I don't want that top wing to go any further past here and then the bottom wing part of that's going to end up here. You guys don't have to do that. I like to just to um, give myself some guidelines. Okay, so with anything that you draw, 
you're focusing on breaking up a complex form into smaller shapes, okay? So the head is just kind of a half circle here. And then I can go ahead and draw the antenna. I've got it a little larger than in my picture. That's okay. And then it's got a little band kind of right there. And then I have the body right there and another little band. And then the rest of the body. Now, I forgot to mention that when you fold this in half, you need to make sure that your folded side is on the left. This process won't work if you draw it on the right or you have the fold on the left and you draw it over here or on the right. Let me start over. This process won't work if your fold is over here on the right-hand side and you draw over on the left-hand side. You have to make sure that your fold is on the left-hand side. And then as I'm drawing, I'm not, um, I'm gonna kind of make that a little smaller. Um, as I'm drawing, I'm also making sure that I'm not closing any of the lines over here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So I'm just kind of sketching out my moth as close to this picture that I can possibly get. So that's kind of a little detail work in there. Okay. If it is not exact, it's okay, but you wanted to get it fairly close. You can always make corrections and go back later. So like this, I have it out too far. So I'm gonna go there. I'll bring this wing down. stop that line okay I'm gonna bring that up and I kind of need to adjust that out a little bit okay so then I kind of want to look for some of the details so I have kind of a I've got this section in here, and I've got a little section here in that wing, so I'll draw that in. I have kind of a teardrop shape going, and then it has this other little shape in here, kind of like that. And then I also have kind of like a circle with a little shape in there like that. Kind of looks like an eye. And then I need to go through and start sectioning out my wings, okay? So again, does this have to be exact? No, not necessarily. But I wanna to try to get it close. So I wanna make the straight lines straight. <clears throat> and then if I've got some curves in there, want to get those in. Okay, so I see one here, see another one here. And then there's my last one. Okay, all right, so I have half of my bug drawn. So now what I need to do is I need to trace the other side of this by going to a window or a light table that's available and I'll put this drawing side up against the window or the light of the light table so I would flip it over like this and then you will be able to see your image your half drawn bug through this paper and then you're just going to go ahead and trace over that I don't have a light table available to me right here. I might be able to use a white screen on my phone. So let me try that. Let's see. Is that gonna work? That is not gonna work. Okay. 
So what you guys will do is you're gonna get yourself a light table. I might start that in another video and then we'll go from there.